Music is one of the founding ways of artistic representation. The first musical recording was created in 1860 with the song Claire de Lune. When compared to the first animated film, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed, which was released in 1926, it's clear that music has been around for longer and has had a lot of importance. From hip-hop to classical, jazz, rap, rock, and more, we've all heard music before. With that said, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, along with many other shows, uses music as a way to attempt to elevate or lower emotions. That's par for the course, to make scenes more or less dramatic based on musical influence. But what if I told you that music may be what created the most popular ship in the fandom? Yep. The reason Tom leaves Star unattended is that the wrong piece of music is playing, so he tries to fix it because he is annoyed. This created the opportunity for Marco to dance with Star, love embalmed in the blood moon's light. So, we already know that Star vs. the Force of Evil benefited greatly from music without talking about anything that wasn't in the episode. Visual storytelling isn't all that frequent in the show. There aren't too many silent moments, but it is safe to say that some episodes, like Bon Bon the Birthday Clown, Blood Moon Ball, and Return to Muni use this concept more. The lack of visual storytelling is made up with the musical storytelling which is music that helps explain situations and moments without directly saying anything. Musical numbers don't fall under this group, only compositions. These musical storytelling elements use something called beats per minute, or BPM. Tempo is measured in BPM and is used to make a song's beats faster or slower. It can turn goosebumps forming on your back to adrenaline coursing through your veins. The beginning of Bon Bon the Birthday Clown starts with a love song. It's soft and has a lower BPM. This builds up to the Darko romance with a kiss later in the episode. Blood Moon Ball has the Blood Moon Waltz. The Blood Moon Waltz is a mythical, magical song with a low BPM to fit the magical setting. In contrast, the show's intro song is upbeat and energetic with a high BPM. In deeper moments, sound effects are used in place of music. When Toffee tells Moon, Marco, and Buffrog that he just killed Star, Sound effects are played when he turns the wand to dust. Slow, ambient music is played. We hear a whoosh when Moon turns to the dark side as her veins extend long beyond her gloves. Magical humming is used when Moon uses the darkest spell. In season 3, the series takes a much more anime approach, with louder music accompanied by higher BPM counts. This is also evident in happier moments. The music slows down and small, higher beats are used. Pianos generally seem to be used a lot for the music in this show. The weirder moments have more fluctuating and ambient music. This is nice and all, but does the music make the show better or worse? Well, it really depends on the moment. The soft moments have softer music, but the tougher moments have a deeper vibe. There is one large issue with the music. When it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. In Bon Bon the Birthday Clown, there is a love song. It's nice and all, but the time period doesn't seem to fit. It sounds like it came from at least 40 years ago. Too Little Too Late doesn't seem to work in the episode's context. The song is about love, but the rest of the episode only hints at a platonic Tomko. Awesome Feeling also doesn't work out very well. And the recent outro doesn't work well either. It tries an anime vibe, but doesn't focus on the idea outside of the angles and fight scenes. And at the end of Conquer, the balloon sound effect is also pretty jarring. So, does Star vs. the Force of Evil music work to its advantage? If you can overlook the occasional glaring flaws, then yes. The fight scenes feel epic, and the cute scenes are calming. Small nitpicks aside, grab your headphones and download YouTube to listen to that one track you like over and over again. Also, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the Star vs. the Force of Evil Amino group. We hope you enjoyed the video.